Hey guys, how's it going? MABK back with another video. And I hope everyone is doing fine with the quarantine and COVID-19 stuff going all around. And this PC build is for people who are just like getting started into PC world or they need a good PC. They have they're transferring themselves from a crappy PC, old PC, okay? And they're coming from a, to a new PC. This is for them. Or if you just want to buy a PC for the first time, this would be for you. So let's build something so everyone is in lockdown and you might be thinking that uh, buying a new PC would get you the edge in playing video games or uh, of course if you are a creator you need some of that memory power for your photoshop and premiere pro and of course rendering takes more time on your crappy old pc so here's a good video and a good explanation of what you need to do or what you need to buy or what you should buy of course because uh, uh, if i make mistakes i should uh, explain it to you what mistakes you should not make so let's start with the pricing and the aesthetic and if you want a low budget pc you have to go uh, a bit sticky on the aesthetic part that you have to lay down some grounds that you are not going to go for rgb coloring and radiator mounts and everything like that and the uh, second thing would be a you have to choose between Intel and AMD processors because Intel is a little bit pricier and doesn't give you that much of a boost if you're starting right into Intel but if you're starting in AMD well it is a good thing that it is cheap it's actually cheap because of the pin configuration and the AMDs have the pins on the motherboard and Intel has the pins on the motherboard so uh, moving on to the next thing would be third thing the goal of a computer what do you need to do with it you need for it for video editing or you need it for photoshopping if you need it for photoshopping you should go light on the GPU and you should take more RAM or uh, if you are going for video editing you should take light on ram and actually you should need both ram and gpu because you you need to do rendering so you need a need a good gpu for that and after that it is that if you want to buy this game uh, pc or you have to uh, assemble this pc for gaming you probably need to find something better something good with the price range and uh, if in my case if uh, if I suggest that uh, you should assemble because assembling is uh, much more easier for you as you will know anything if anything goes wrong or anything cracks you know where the cracks come from but if you're buying an assembled PC if you're buying a PC a made up PC okay like from companies like ASUS and uh, astroc origin 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 no or not origin but still the point is if you're buying P build a pc then you have the chances of getting overpriced pcs for what you can get in a short amount but they have the upper hand because they buy things in bulk but still though you have the upper hand if you're assembling a pc by yourself and the last thing would be that uh, it's better to, for you to search for local parts because local parts are much easier to find and uh, if you are in a good neighborhood you will find parts within your price range and usable best usable parts let's start with motherboard we have uh, which i bought was a uh, very cheap well it's very cheap with good looking aesthetics it's not like uh, uh, old coming out from 90s 1990s motherboard but still it is a good motherboard if you look at over here you have a as rock 
AMD B450 Pro 4. So B450 is the chipset of the motherboard. So it uh, has AMD AM4 sockets and supports DDR4. Okay, the, the new version DDR4 RAMs. And it has it has four slots. It's not that DDR4. That's why it has four slots. Four slots? No, because it is the DDR4 technology, the, the fourth generation, uh, and it supports 3,200 3, megahertz. <coughs> and uh, after that, you have two PCI 3 uh, into three third generation. 2 PCIe of third generation into 16 x16 that is these two over here okay and uh, you have what for PCI 2 second generation uh, into one that is this one two three four and of course you have six SATA 3 and uh, one ultra m2 m.2 m.2 uh, so if you're new to m.2 you should probably go and find something more about m.2 drives because there are such a good drive there are such reliable sources of uh, storage if you are new otherwise you if you know m.2 then you have uh, two m.2 slots okay but uh, only one works if you're using both of the pcie slots uh, that you have to bear that in mind and uh, for uh, ethernet cables you have a uh, real big gigabit LAN mm, so after that also you have two variants of this mother same motherboard so you have ASRock B450 404 which is uh, what I bought which uh, is a bigger version and uh, you even have B450 M Pro 4 so th both of them would be good because it's on you you need a uh, ATX motherboard or you need a micro ATX motherboard it's all on you and so I brought the ATX motherboard so I guess because I needed more slots of PCIe's PCIe okay so after that the graphics card that we have is MSI RX 578 gigabytes and uh, even though 8 gigabytes is uh, outrageous that you have 8 gigabytes of no but it's rx570 but it is an old processing unit so it has its drawbacks and it has its own things okay but here what i was just trying to do that because I was uh, trying to find a, a gpu that with more power less price of course Otherwise, I could have gone to 1080 Ti or 10 NVIDIA's and graphics cards, but I s did got stuck into RX 570 because of the price range. And uh, here's the thing that <coughs> if you're gonna assemble your own PC, you have chances of uh, what uh, renovating it. Renovating it, right? It's renovating that. Yeah, you can renew it every time you want. Every time you collect a paycheck, you can renew it just by yourself because you don't need anyone, and that is the best part about it. And for the CPU, the processor, we have AMD Ryzen 5 to 2600 with uh, six cores and 12 threads of 3.5 gigahertz out of the box with the thermal paste. And I recommend not to overclock it without a good water cooling system and after that is the pc case and the power supply which i got a little bit greedy about to save my money and i bought it from the local store but, but still that is good and that doesn't cost me much so the motherboard and uh, actually uh, the, the pricing is and for the pricing the pricing is in uh, uh, SAR uh, uh, Saudi Reals because uh, that's where I stay so it's uh, kind of Saudi Reals but uh, still though I will give you the final price of the USDs US dollars but still though the motherboard came for 300 GPUs from for 670 that's the, the least amount of price you're gonna pay for a GPU of 8 gigs of, uh, 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 seems a joke but still though the AMD came for 513 the VRAM RAM there are uh, 8 gigs of uh, sorry 8 gigs into 2 
that came for 289 cross uh, Corsair Vengeance that's a good uh, RAM DDR4 to 3000 megahertz and the shipping and import fees was like uh, 217 200 and the total was uh, 1946 but I was charged 1952 because of some exchange rates and that things but everything set aside I got a PC of complete uh, this is some of the PC parts for uh, thousand and nine hundred reals okay so after that I got a PC case which I bought uh, <coughs> from the local stores okay so I got that for 300 and that is not just a PC case okay it's a good PC case with some uh, things from gaming gaming PCs PC cases okay so I've got uh, fan controls you have uh, two settings low high and off of course off so you have uh, one outtake fan actually two outtake fans and three three intake fans with filters of course it has filters and a fourth on the side panel a big fan so it's a big, pretty big fan to keep your system cool and I actually don't uh, need maybe I actually currently don't need any uh, water cooling systems radiators and all of that but still though it's running pretty good without any of that so at the end of the buy you have spent around the US uh, $800 maybe okay and you've got a good PC if you see at the specs at the benchmark of the PC I'll just leave it to you that you see how good the PC is and of course you have 16 gigs of RAM so that won't be a problem and here was the problem that I faced because of the price cutting on the GPU is that it was showing that I don't have that much of usability on the GPU and of course I, I felt that uh, that uh, it's not coming off of the GPU everything is coming off of the GPU but of course you have a good CPU so it, it'll, it'll kind of refine on that but it's not good it's not a good thing but still though it runs very good uh, except for my old PC which was like uh, not even four gigs it was it had two two gigs of uh, RAM and uh, maybe 512 of uh, GPU that was also integrated uh, integrated GPUs from Intel so that was a bad thing and this is, is a start okay this is a start that's why I'm telling you to build a PC rather than buying blindly from Mac owners and for whatever they build with $700 wheels all right you're not gonna go and buy blindly just look for the things you need otherwise just leave it because now if you don't want a GPU you just want CPU you can buy integrated CPU with GPU so it, it will work fine okay so I didn't buy a integrated GPU because I was buying another GPU was buying a separate GPU but you can buy it buy the integrated GPU and it will work fine like if you don't need it you don't buy it simple as that so just uh, you can look at the specs for this so that's it for today and that is a cut for me and I'll see you next time on my channel please subscribe to my channel for newest content of Premiere Pro Photoshop and editing and graphic designing if you want uh, to learn or you are starting into it or you need some and another help with PC building experience as you can so until next time keep subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell until it gets uh, silver so that you know when my new video is coming and when it will come and you will be the first one to watch it